Angela's plans to deport Michael just blew up in her face, and I mean literally. In a shocking turn of events, Angela's attempt to annul her marriage to Michael and ship him back to Nigeria has just backfired in the most epic way possible, and this drama just got a lot more interesting because Angela may find herself on the losing end after all. If you're new to this drama, Angela and Michael are the infamous couple casts on the 90 Day Fiancé reality TV show and they've been going through it together for years but it only gets interesting with Michael being vindicated by the day and Angela finding herself on the wrong side. So Angela and Michael first connected online until they met in person in 2018 while filming for the show and quickly after that in 2020 they tied the knot in Nigeria and then the relationship turned long distance again when Angela returned to the States and filed for Michael's visa, which took so long to get out because of the coronavirus pandemic. Throughout that period when they were apart, things were pretty much heated for the most time like usual, with Angela repeatedly accusing Michael of cheating on her with Nigerian women and all that. But then fast forward to the June 30th episode of 2024, Angela finally announced that the visa was finally approved and that Michael was in the USA. But not long after that, after a couple of fights, Angela has just filed for a marriage annulment and she wants Michael deported. But just like I said, her plan is blowing up in her face. These are divorce papers. And it breaks my heart that I had to go this far. Oh God, I never knew she took it serious until this very moment. I think this is going to be the end of the road for both of us. Now basically, Angela filed for an annulment and according to In Touch, Angela states that she was fraudulently induced into marriage by Michael so that he could gain legal permanent residency in the States. Angela's petition also mentions that she discovered Michael was engaged in a conspiracy with other Nigerian men to lure US citizens into marrying them so they could get green cards. To support her claims, she specifically pointed out at the fact that on one of Michael's posts, a fellow Nigerian man posted that we did it brother, further adding in her caption calling for homeland security to catch him because according to her, that comment of we did it brother was the proof to her that Michael used her for the visa. Now the truth is, if Michael is proven to be a scammer who only married Angela for green card, he can actually be punished for it with five years in prison and a $250,000 fine. But to Angela's disappointment, she has just been embarrassed when she failed to prove that Michael is a scammer or a cheater. In the season 8 tell-all, we have seen Angela hire a group of five private investigators to dig in on Michael to find all the dirt, even the buried one, but with a two-week duration and 189 papers of information they found on Michael, in the end he was found spotless and the PI said that he never cheated or scammed and that his intentions were pure about the marriage. Furthermore, a Reddit user called Life Cardiologist, who is both an immigrant and an attorney, claims that Angela isn't right about what constitutes as a scam marriage for immigration purposes. Well, so that's first, with no proof that Michael scammed her into marriage, she cannot have him deported, and on top of that, according to several reports and people familiar with this topic, it is said that if you prove that you've been married for at least two years, you're eligible to apply for an American citizenship and to Michael's luck, he and Angela have been married for four years, which makes it possible for him to apply for citizenship. So with Angela's annulment and her pulling Michael's visa, Michael is gearing up to fight for himself in court and to get himself separated from her. And it's in that way where he has now set up a GoFundMe account to be able to get the funds to pay his legal team because at this moment, he isn't allowed to work in America, at least legally. And when he was still even in Nigeria, Angela has refused 
him to work, fearing that he would cheat on her with Nigerian women. So on August 13th, he set up the GoFundMe page where he said that, Hi, I'm Michael Ilesamni from TLC's TV show 90 Day Fiancé. I've been put in a situation where I unfortunately have to ask for help. Due to the recent legal filings by Angela against me, I must seek legal advice. I've obtained an attorney but the fees are expensive. I'm asking all my fans to help. Whatever you can give, I would appreciate. I understand all of us are having hard times and I hate to ask others for money support, but it seems like due to the legal actions brought against me, I have to ask. Thank you all and God bless. Other than that, he added on his Instagram that I could really use your help right now. I'm facing unexpected legal expenses and any support would mean the world to me. If you're able to donate, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. So basically, he has a goal of achieving 25k US dollars, but so far it looks to be going so well because in a few days, 617 people have contributed already and altogether they have raised more than 14k US dollars. So with all that being said, all the fan support looks to be on Michael as on top of supporting him financially, one person did comment saying that Michael has over 15k right now. I hope he gets everything and sues Doherty Bird for emotional abuse and probably physical too. Another one said that Michael truly needs to counter sue Angela for emotional distress. There are so many hours of video evidence of her abuse. He would absolutely win in front of a jury. Well, the last one said that Angela wanted to be the victim so bad that he became the abuser in hopes he would mess up. Very sad. I hope he's living a better life now. But that wasn't all because a lot of people are also saying that TLC has a price to pay for having supported an abuser for this long for them to make money out of it. And this person said that this is so disgusting that TLC recorded edited, reviewed, and showed the abuse. At some point, TLC has to look beyond the money and see that they allowed people to abuse others in every way, physically, emotionally, financially, and mentally. I don't care if he was in need for green card, no one has that right to treat others that way. If she felt that Michael wasn't genuine, then she should have left him. To me, it was like TLC was in on the abuse. I have since boycotted TLC since they want to show people getting abused. It was hard watching the documentary. Well, that's what different people had to say about this situation and I can't wait to hear your own views so go ahead and tell me what you think and also subscribe on my channel for more updates. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.